Here we are with Gary Strock from Max Sales doing a test on some HDO4 material for uh, precast concrete forming uh, that we're going to do uh, today. He's using a standard uh, paint gun HVLP 1.3 tip. He's running about 24 psi on the regulator and he's going to go ahead and spray these forms. You can see that it's going on nice and even. That's what you want on your paint gun. Uh, you can kind of see the pattern. That's doing a really nice pattern. To give you an idea here, you want to always follow your pattern and make sure you get a little bit of an overlap in there because you don't want the barrier in between to not get the product. This is a uh, two-stage base coat and top coat super hydrophobic spray, uh, so we're testing it on some concrete today. So as soon as he gets these areas touched up here, he's going to go ahead and dry with a small dryer uh, the form because the temperature uh, isn't quite warm enough today to get this stuff to set up quick. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with a small heat gun. So you can see that he's wearing a full suit here. Uh, respirator, definitely uh, want a respirator. Make sure he gets those forms good. I think he's going to dry it here. So he's got a small heat gun. It only takes a few, few seconds to dry it. Just so it sets up tacky and then you can get a nice uh, second coat on there just to ensure you get a good top coat bond. You can see that it's already starting to turn uh, a white haze and that's letting you know that the product is drying. Uh, you definitely do not want to put too much bottom coat on at one time uh, or you'll really get some discoloration and uh, the top coat does have a problem bonding to it when it's wet. So you want it to be nice and firm and that way the top coat really sticks really good. So right now we're just uh, going to put on a little bit of a second coat here. You can see, you can follow the pattern. You definitely want to have a nice pattern when you're doing it. That's a big key to this product, is getting a nice overlapping pattern. And then definitely before you apply the top coat, you definitely want to uh, make sure that it is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it off now and we're going to put these forms together and pick up this in a few minutes. Here we are again uh, getting ready for uh, stage two, the top coat. Uh, we've already in the previous, we've put the uh, bottom coat on. Uh, this is the same uh, gun setup as the bottom coat. We just adjusted the air down a little bit. Uh, this is Gary Strock again getting ready to apply the top coat. So here we go. Remember, the pattern is the key when putting it on. You can see it going on, so that's what you want to follow. Is that nice overlap pattern. And uh, the top coat only sticks to the bottom coat, so you can't use anything else or just spray the top coat on. Uh, it has to have the bottom coat. And you can see this stuff dries a lot quicker. So you can really see your pattern once it starts drying. It has that white haze to it. And that's letting you know that it is drying. It's, you can just see it's rapidly drying. So it does go pretty quick. So this is one here where you don't have to wait very long in between uh, coats. So again, these are the forms we're testing for uh, concrete for. Uh, this is uh, MDO form board three quarter.